and over 137 hostages are still being held in Gaza. It's been over two months. None have had any access to the outside world. None have been visited by the International Red Cross. Criticism against the organization is mounting here in Israel and around the world. And for nine consecutive weeks now, protesters have gathered outside the Red Cross offices in Washington, D.C. to call to bring the hostages home. ILTV's Emily Schrader was at this week's rally. Let's take a look. I am here in Washington, D.C., directly in front of the American Red Cross, where a rally is taking place to call for the immediate release of all the hostages. Now, this same rally in front of the Red Cross has taken place every single week since October 7th, organized by members of the Jewish community as well as the local Israeli community. We caught up with some of them here at the protest to understand what their demands are from the American Red Cross. Now, in recent weeks, the American Red Cross has received heavy criticism due to their refusal and or inability to meet with Israeli hostages who are being held in the Gaza Strip still. They have not been able to transfer any medications. In fact, in one case, a family of one of the hostages was told to think about the Palestinians when they asked for assistance getting important medication to the hostages. As a result of the differentiation between hostages in other situations, both historically and through today, and the Red Cross's treatment of Israeli hostages, the criticism is only mounting with everything every week this every day that 138 of our brothers and sisters are still held in captivity why they're not even military prisoners they're being held because they're Jews or because they are associated with Jews in Israel that is their crime that is the reason why savages have stooped beyond the lowest level in humanity and acted in such a barbaric fashion. Okay, so we are here in front of the Red Cross, and here with me is Vered Gutman, who is one of the organizers of this weekly protest. Now, Vered, I want to hear from you. Why are you guys here? Why are you here gathering every single week? This is the ninth week, actually, that we are gathering. And we usually have about 100, 100, 200 people every single week. And our message is very simple. Bring the hostages back home. We're trying to keep out of any politics. Uh, we're trying to keep it simple and to bring as many people and to keep the issue of the hostages, which is an urgent uh, issue, to keep it in the public eye. So we add... Um, Congressman uh, Jamie Raskin uh, speaking here before. We had other politicians, rabbis of all uh, denominations, um, uh, singers, and uh, many, actually, many families of the hostages spoke here before. Has there been has there been any response from the Red Cross yet? So uh, the Red Cross issue is a little more complicated. Um, we were actually trying not to criticize them for the first few weeks. And uh, as you heard today, there's more and more criticism within the, uh, you know, the family forum and within our community and our speakers today. Um, so uh, no, we did not hear from them uh, yet. Uh, we're actually planning a meeting uh, this Friday uh, with someone from the Red Cross to hear more. I know that the forum is meeting with them too. I mean, it's not only us, but we're trying to do what we can from here. Bring them home now. Bring them home now. Bring them home now. Bring them home now.